Okay, you guys, what we, why don't we um, start setting up this boat right away? Okay, we, boat. Yeah, your boat. Why don't we get, uh, get the mast? We need a mast. Okay, and then find the hole in the hull. Just wait, one, one thing at a time. Don't stand in the boat. Don't stand in the boat. Yeah. If some of you want to start on those boats, we get those masts up. Okay. Good job. Okay, once you guys get those masts in the hole, unravel the sails. Work together, Zach. Help them out. There you go. Got it. Okay. Whose boat am I, are we working on here? Okay. Okay, we need to get a boom. Let's get those booms. Now remember, the boom fits in the peg that's at the bottom of the mast. The gooseneck, you got it. There you go, find that hole. The other side. Okay. Right there, there you go. Fit into that peg, that, what do we call that peg again? Gooseneck. Okay, now, okay, let's all come over here and I'll work on this boat once for a second. Guys want to come over here? All right. Come on over here. Okay, now that we have the, the mast up and the boom, what do we call it when we bring, when we're going to run, uh, run the sail down? What's, what's this corner called again? Tack. Tack. Tack, okay. We're going to bring that down. Okay, and what do we call this when we do this? You guys remember, what are we running? The what? The outhaul. The outhaul. We're running the outhaul. So now, once we get that, there you go, get the key in the grommet. Now, what do we have to find so that we can start running the outhaul? What do we need? A dagger board. You got it. Let's get a dagger board. Good. Okay, Jacob, don't walk in the boat. There you go. Okay, remember which way it goes in? Where's the slanty side go? There you go. Okay, the rope goes through a footing in the hull of the boat. There you go. Then where? The pulley, there you go. That pulley is right on the boom. And then back down, tighten it up to the other footing. Give my hand. All right, good. Pull it tight. Don't forget to put a knot in the end of that rope. Good job. Now pull it tight so that it sits in. There you go. Troy, you want to help him get that? Just cleat, put that into the cleat. Pull it real tight. Good job. Way to go. Teamwork. Okay, now what do we have to do? What do we call it, Chris? Run the main sheet. All right. Where do, how do we start? Got to make sure there's a knot in one end, remember? There we go. We got a knot. Take the free end through a pulley in the hull of the boat. Yep. Careful. Don't lift that up to it. You're going to. There you go. 
Is that the tough one? All right, up through a pulley on the boom. No, use the one on the other end there one. Yeah, use that one, Chris. There you go. We're going to space them out. We're going to leave that center one alone. Okay. Down through another pulley on the hull. Okay, now look. Wait one second. Okay, look at what we're doing. We're crossing this. So let's start this one over here. Okay, and then we'll come down through this one and then up to this one. Okay, let's just do it that way. Otherwise, we're going to cross those lines. Then that won't work. Wait, 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 Chris. Take it off the pulley on the, on the boom. There you go. And then just start on this one. Good job. Okay, down through the second pulley on the hull. Pull it all tight ones. Okay, let's all come over on this side of the boat and let's talk about the wind for a second. Hey, you guys, today we have less wind than we did yesterday. But where's the wind coming from? Which way? Which way? Well, you're all pointing it. Which way? That way. It's coming from that way? Yeah, because uh, there's a wind. It's coming from port. It's... Okay, well, let's look. Look at the waves on the water. Okay. Okay, now look at the sails. Which way are the sails blowing? Okay, you're right. So we've got a, a wind coming from this direction, right? So what does that mean? Where can we not sail? We cannot sail that way, okay? So it's going to make it easy for us to get out of here, right? Okay. So what we're going to do, make sure that you don't sail directly into the wind. What's the closest that you can sail into the wind? At a 45 degree angle. You got it, okay? So we've got to make sure not to sail directly into the wind. And that the only time that's going to be a problem is when we're coming back in this direction, right? Okay, because the wind's coming from this direction. So you gotta remember to sail no closer than a 45 degree angle. Okay, because we don't have a lot of wind, you guys, there's gonna be some times when you're sitting out there waiting for a gust of wind. What should you be doing with the main sheet? Pulling it tight or letting it loose when you're waiting for wind? Letting it loose, right, okay. What happens if you run too close to the shore and your boat gets stuck? How are you going to get out? <laughs> what if Troy wasn't here? And what if I wasn't here? Why do you get stuck? Right, you pull the dagger board up and even the, the rudder because those are the things that are going to get stuck on the bottom. Okay, Okay. now do we have a change in wind direction? Where is it coming from now? Okay, those are the things you got to remember when you're out there. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to get these other two boats set up. This team can start, but once we get all the boats set up, you guys are going to go out and I want you to just do one maneuver. All I want you to do is concentrate on getting across the pond and then I want you to come about and come back. What does it mean to come about? To turn into the wind, right. Okay. So would you push your tiller leeward or leeward or windward? Okay, someone's saying leeward and someone's saying windward. If you're going to turn your boat into the wind and come about, you would turn your tiller leeward, okay? Because if you turn your tiller leeward, which is away from the wind, your boat's going to go the opposite way that you turn the tiller. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Zach, am I right? Yeah. All right. Okay, you guys can start getting those boats up. This boat, all it needs is a rudder. Just like you did yesterday. Let's put the boat out a little bit more. It'll probably be easier to get that in. Okay, now I've got the wind at, at my back again. Okay, so you guys are probably better off heading straight that way. Just wait. Get out a little bit deeper. There you go. Chris, where's your partner? 
Who's Chris's partner? Zach? Well, you can do it again today, can't you? Oh, I'll watch him. Help him with that rudder, Troy. Is it down? You got to get your rudder down. Lift up on the tiller. Okay. Good enough. You guys having a problem? You got it tight, Chris? Good job. Now pull that tight and slip it into that footing. Push down. There, there you go. Okay. We're on the main sheet. I threw two pulleys on the boom, okay? Okay, we're going to throw the line at once. I think, okay, that'll work. Tomorrow we'll get you a longer rope. I don't know what happened with the one from yesterday. How's it going over there, guys? Cody, you gonna be the skipper today? Nope. nope. Abe? Watch the sail, Chris. You are, huh? Which way are you gonna sail, Cody? Okay. You gonna come about? Make sure you tie your life jacket up there. Abe, tie your life jacket. Nah. It's okay to tip. What does it mean if you're tipping? No. It means you're learning something. both of you on the same side, okay? Where's your wind coming from, Chris? Okay, why don't you guys hop in and let Troy help you out. Good job, Chris! There you go. Did you guys come about? You didn't come about when you were over there? How'd it go? Good. Do it again before you hit bottom. There you go.
Did you lose the wind? Did you hit the bottom? No, I want you to go back out. Let your sail out a little bit. Try, you want to give him a push? Chris, where's your wind coming from? Too bad we didn't have more wind. Yesterday was a good day. Um, basically, they're learning the parts of the boat, how to set them up, and how to sail with the wind. Um, there are a lot of directions that they can sail. Um, the only direction that they can't sail is directly into the wind, and right now they're just learning how to, how to play with the wind and sail so that they're moving and not sailing directly into it. They're also learning how to come about. We have two ways that we come about. One is com coming about or turning around, um, and another one is, is to jibe, and they're learning those two maneuvers. Coming about is turning into the wind, and when they jibe, they turn away from the wind. And we've basically been working on coming about. They've also been learning t terms, sailing terms, um, windward and leeward, port, starboard, bow, stern. They've learned um, different terms for the different parts of the boats. Um, things like that, very beginner type things. Most of the kids that are out here have very little, if any, experience with sailing. I think of the two groups that I work with, um, there are one or maybe two kids who've had any experience at all. I think they're doing okay. And that's tech. these other two are doing extremely well, especially with as little wind as we have. We've been watching some videos, some instructional videos that we got from the library, so. Um, they're pretty up on what's going on, especially for being beginners, like I said earlier. See, now they did very well right here, this boat, this, the closest boat. Um, I'm going to guess that Chris figured out that if he had kept going, he would have lost the wind. So what he did is he, he came about right away instead of losing the wind. I'm hoping that was his rationale anyway.
Okay, you guys, let's try to come back in now. <clears throat> Don't sail directly into the wind. We know. Try to stay on the edge of the wind, or? Yeah. <laughs> yep, they can't cl sail closer than a 45, yep. In Monday, when trying to explain that, they weren't getting it, but now they get it. Had to diagram that 45 degree thing. You guys are doing well. Keep coming. Let your sail out a little bit to catch the wind. Here comes some wind. Yeah. A little warm there, huh? It's not a race. Hey, Jacob, what are you on right now, a port or a starboard tack? Are you sure? What side's the wind coming? What is it? Starboard tack, the wind's coming over the starboard side. Hey, guys. Start lifting your dagger board so it doesn't get caught on the bottom. Okay. Good job. Cody, was that better than doing the tiller? Yeah. Worked out good, huh? Good job, you guys. What was the hardest part? There wasn't a hard part? Hold on, let, let Abraham get out before you pull it any further. There you go. Good job. We were behind everybody and then we pulled ahead. This was great. Did you, did you jive at all or just come about every time? Okay, tomorrow we're going to work on the jive. Okay? When you turn, remember, what's coming about? When you turn into the wind, right? Yeah. Okay, so jive is when you're going to turn away we from went, the wind. We went, like, kind of far, and then I think that the wind came in and blew us into that. Yeah. That's okay. You guys did very well. How'd it go, you guys? How's it going, Troy? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> let's start getting these boats done. Yeah, you know why? Think about it. Okay, where's the end of that rope? Yeah, and aren't you pulling it tight? Okay, what you want to do is let that knot loose on that second footing. That's why we're going to do it tomorrow in the morning and the afternoon if you have a lot of time for that. It's good, you guys are learning. Fun, Abraham? Yeah. 